Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to install CRTouch for Ender 3 printers and update the firmware. Now let's unbox it. After opening the box, first thing there is the Creality Filament Advertisement and some instruction manuals. There is also some additional metal brackets for other Ender series printers. And we have the cables, zip ties and some screws for the installation. There is also a version of CRTouch selling online without the metal bracket. So make sure to buy the whole kit if you are installing it for first time. They have provided three different brackets. We have to use the right one by looking at the instruction manual. The cable has length of 1 meter approximately, which is more than enough for any Ender series printers. This is the bracket that I have to use with my Ender 3 Max. Now install the screws into the CRTouch bracket. Using the screws that comes with the CRTouch, install it on the printer. Make sure it's tight enough so it won't be wobbling while bed leveling. I removed the Z bed level switch which is no longer required since we have the C attach. To connect the C attach with main board, we have to remove the main board cover. First remove the screw from the top and flip the printer upside down and remove the rest of the screws. Since the fan is attached with the back cover, first we have to remove the fan cable. Near the LCD connector, there is a blank port, which is for CR touch. Connect the CR touch cable into that port. Also make sure to note down your motherboard vision, so it will be useful while downloading the firmware. Since Z limit switch cable is glued together, I didn't try removing it, so let it be there. To avoid the cables getting damaged by the sharp metals, I secured it by using the cloth tape, which is used for automotive wiring harness. Now reconnect the fan cable and install the back cover. Using the tape and zip tags, I secured the CR touch cable with the extruder cables. You can also route this cable through the extruder cable sleeves. Since I am going to upgrade my extruder to sprite extruder, I am not doing this right now. And finally, I connected the other side of cable to the CR touch. After installing the CR touch, first thing to do is to upgrade your printer firmware. For that, go to creality.com and navigate to download center and select your printer. My printer is Ender 3 Max. But there is only one vision of firmware for 4.2 points on motherboard. Don't worry if you are not able to find the right version of your board in the firmware section. There is an another way to download it. Now go to the ecosystem and search for CRTouch. There you can find the printer and download the firmware. Once you download it, extract the file. There you can find the firmware for your right motherboard. Now copy and paste the bin file along to the SD card and insert it into the printer. Now switch on your printer and wait for a few seconds to update and the main screen will show up. Now let's try auto home for testing. and it works fine without any issues. Now we have to set the Z probe offset, which is nothing but we have to set the distance between your nozzle and the CR touch probe. 
For that, go to Move Axis and reduce the Z axis until the nozzle comes close to the build plate. There should be a paper thin gap between your nozzle and the build plate. Before doing this, make sure to remove any residual filaments in the nozzle. Now note down the value and go to the bed leveling and change the probe offset to the value that you noted and store the settings. And now let's try bed leveling. In real time it was very very slow process and also the stock reality framework supports only 3 point bed leveling. They should have at least enabled 4 point bed leveling. For testing, I will print the bed level test print. I will also provide the STL file link in the description. Test print came up really very well and there is an even print only at the one end which is really not that bad. Even though you have say attached, before doing auto bed leveling you need to do manual bed leveling and also need to auto bed level at least once after you 5 to 10 prints or in a week. So you need to change the nozzle to pro box setting whenever you replace the nozzle. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section.